Hi, it's Ben Ditchell with Homelinks Tech Talk and DIY, and today we're going to be finding out how to get the Wemo devices that you have in your home back online. This is going to be anything from a single pole light switch to any of the outlet bricks or outdoor plugs that you may have, anything that's Wemo Wi-Fi controlled. Sometimes those things fall offline, could be anything to do with maybe it just went offline one day, didn't come back online, your router was switched out, maybe your Wi-Fi name changed. So any of those things can kind of throw this for a loop. So I worked on this for a good portion of today and finally spoke with customer support. They were able to help me with something that's not really built into the directions. It's a different way of getting these things re-added to your network. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. Okay, well, no doubt you're familiar with this look. This is a Wemo switch and it is blinking blue. So this is a, um, actually this is a double pull switch. It's a, two-way switch, but it's the exact same as a single pull switch, which I have in the other room. And I also have a bunch of other devices and outlets and plugs that were branded by Wemo. Wemo has since changed their um, lineup to support more Apple products and Apple HomeKit. However, today I'm going to be using Android because these older devices were available on the Android and the iOS platform. So, Going in to our Wemo app, one thing you're going to want to make sure that you do not do. Going into Wemo, don't click on the plus sign. This plus sign for any of your smart plugs, your dimmers, your light switches, things like that, that's not how you want to set it up after it's fallen off the network. All right, so how do we do it? First thing we're going to want to do is go into our Wi-Fi settings. This is going to be the same with iOS, Android. We're going to see we have Wemo devices in here. So I had a ton of Wemo devices. I set most of these back up this way. I got two left. So this one's the one we're going to use, the LS3W. That one is um, the double pole. So a single pole is down here. So connect to the Wi-Fi signal that your switch is transmitting. So we're trying to connect to it right now. And now on Android, and I believe iPhone as well, it's going to say, hey, it's connected, no internet access, tap for options. You wanna make sure you choose yes, stay connected. Now it's connected, but not giving you any internet. You see the little exclamation point there on the Wi-Fi. So you're on this network now, but you're not getting any internet, which is fine. Go back into Wemo. Look at this, it's now connected. It's connected to your Wemo switch and it's opening that connection. Boom, there's another Wemo light switch on this circuit. This is because this is a dual pole switch. So we're gonna go ahead and get this answered. In this case, the answer is no, because I have a manual switch on the other side. I'll go ahead and give this a name. Kitchen light, that works for me. Choose next. Now pay attention here because what's gonna be happening is it's gonna be going between your Wemo Wi-Fi and your home Wi-Fi and your cell network. So right now it's on the cell network, I use T-Mobile and it was on the Wemo Wi-Fi a moment ago. And it's going to try to connect to our home Wi-Fi network in just a moment as it gives that handoff of the information. There it is, home Wi-Fi. Notice, stopped blinking. Now, just in case you didn't know, while it gets set up here, I'll tell you, right under here, right in that middle, right below the E of Wemo, if you hold down there, it's going to blink at you if you ever need this thing reset. It's gonna blink blue and then white and then red. Once it starts blinking red, you can let go and it will reset and give it about two, three minutes. Once it starts blinking blue, you can do the steps that are in this video. Now, if you have a plug or an external device of some sort that blinks orange and white or yellow and white, what you're gonna to wanna to do is hold down 
on that blinking button until it starts blinking dual colors, orange and white. Once it's doing that, it's the same thing as this blinking blue. All right, so in typical fashion, this is frozen, it does this, it'll do this for infinity. At least this is the way it is for me. So what I do is I'm gonna go ahead and kill the app because you can see right here, it's white, it's ready to go. So the app is killed. It's connected to my home internet. And look at that, kits and light. There it is. So we're back in business. So that's just kind of how that works for this. Um, I was having all kinds of issues using the plus sign today and trying to add things through the light switch or through the uh, dimmer switch uh, options and it would find other devices in my house. I had all of them down because we changed our SSID for Wi-Fi today. All of them went down and there were so many different Wemos. It was getting so confused and I was renaming devices across the house that were, you know, the kitchen was then called the bedroom and the office was then called the living room and et cetera, et cetera. And it just became a big mess. So the best way to do that is to make sure that you connect your Wi-Fi to the switch Wi-Fi and then open up your Wemo app and proceed. Hope this helps. It certainly would have helped me about seven, eight hours ago, but uh, hopefully this helps. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.